Welcome back to Friday Football Focus. Despite being without seven starters last week, Dos Pueblos thumped San Inez. Yeah, it was a breakout performance for their uh, sophomore quarterback, Kellen Roberts, threw for over 300 yards, five touchdowns, second varsity start. As good as DP was, they would have to be even better. Unbelievable tonight against Newbury Park. And well, speaking of unbelievable, Jim Murray's in studio live with tonight's highlights. You guys are too good to me. Well, Newbury Park entered Goleta as a top-ranked team in the CIF Northern Division, 3-0 and heading into tonight's game, averaging close to 45 a game. And their two top players already have full rides to Pac-12 schools for next season. Panthers, they're led by the Holmes brothers, Derek number two, heading to Arizona next season. His brother, Darnay, he's only a sophomore. And then you got 310-pound senior Zach Okun heading to Eugene to play for the Ducks. Chargers, though, they let Darnay know they came to play. Incomplete pass, a little extra after the whistle. A few plays later, Derek... He would get it in the flat. He had nowhere to go. Panthers turned the ball over on downs, their first two possessions. Chargers, though, couldn't get anything going on offense. Kellen Roberts pass tipped into the hands of Scotty Garifo. That will be an interception. So Newbury Park would take over. Matthew Matlock, check out the block from Darnay Holmes, number five. He's the sophomore. Springs Matlock, he would go 49 yards for the score. 7-0 Panthers. More issues on offense for DP. Under constant pressure tonight, trying to make a play. Instead, throws another pick. Tough play. Derek Holmes, he would take over there. So explosive with the ball. Cutting back, breaking tackles. He's only 5'9 on the roster, but he plays bigger than that. Down to the two. They would score on their next play, 14-0 Newberry Park. Later, this would be the quick slant. Derek, again, this guy's just way too good in open space. And that would set up the score a few plays later. Matlock to the end zone. Newbury Park up three touchdowns midway through the second. And then the Panthers, they just decide to pour it on. Daniel Prado to Ryan McGee. The slant again. This one never a contest at all. Panthers win 51-0. Improved to 4-0 on the season. DP now 1-3 on the year. For Dos Pueblos, certainly a humbling loss to a team full of D1 players. And it doesn't get any easier next week, Thursday night, up at Lompoc, the second-ranked team in the Northern Division. That is a very, very tough schedule by the schedule makers for DP. Guys, back to you. All right, Jim, thank you very much. Regetti hoping to build some momentum after a nice win against Simi Valley last week. Tonight, the Warriors looking to take care of business against Santa Maria. We pick up this one in the second quarter. Regetti uh, quarterback, Connor Reagan, he hands off to Andrew Cooper. Nice 17-yard run here. He takes it around the outside, up the left, breaking a tackle, and... 17 yards. Three plays later, it's Reagan to Cooper again in the handoff. This time, he's going 36 yards for the touchdown. Rigetti goes up 35-0 on Santa Maria. Just six minutes before the half, Santa Maria's quarterback, Dominique Garrett. He's going to actually get this one and try to fling it down there. It's caught, but it's fumbled, and this is kind of how the night was going. Rigetti all over in this one. Let's put up that final scoreboard. What a game it was for Rigetti as they win this one 57-13 over the Saints of Santa Maria. So if you're staying with us here on, uh, if you're watching us on KCOY 12, we got a top 10 list for you on Letterman. That's right. We got a lot more highlights on Channel 3. We got Paso Robles, San Luis Obispo, Carp, Fillmore, et cetera. Stay with us.